Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jenny and in today's video, as you can see, I have my summer fat fit fun box and we're going to be unboxing it together. So if you want to see what I got in my box, then don't go anywhere and let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm just going to place it here on my vanity table and first of all, this box is definitely smaller than the other boxes that I have received. I don't know if it's because the products are just smaller. I don't know, but it's definitely smaller. I definitely love the design though. It's very summery. And here we have the magazine. And as always, I go straight to the page where you can see the value of everything that you get in the box. Okay, so the summer box total value, it's gonna range from $225.50 to up to $477. That is actually a little bit higher than the other boxes that I have received. We'll see at the end how much is the actual value of the box that I got personally, but I'm just gonna start grabbing products outside and just going over everything. All right, so the first product in my box is this uh, facial toner. I really don't wanna pronounce the name uh, of the brand because I know I'm gonna get it wrong. <laughs> but it's Terre Mare, I don't know, but it's supposed to be an aloe and tea tree toner, and this is anti-aging, and I actually selected this. The retail value of this toner is actually $54, and just reading from the magazine, it says that, I guess with this toner, it's gonna help you to reveal your best skin yet as the aloe and tea tree combo smooths the skin and I guess gets rid of uh, dead skin cells. I don't think I had a toner before that does those things, but I'm okay with that. You guys know that I am such a fan of a skincare products and I picked this because on the website, it definitely looks so luxurious. And just by grabbing the product, I can definitely tell you that this product feels expensive. I don't know yet because I have not tried it, but just from the component, it definitely feels heavy. And you can actually smell a little bit of the tea tree uh, scent. And I say that because I actually have used that essential oil before and it has amazing uh, properties. I have never tried it on a skincare product, so I'm really excited to try this out. I mean, I'm gonna give it a try. I love skincare products, like I said. It does feel very luxurious and expensive. This bottle alone, it probably weighs over one pound. That's pretty heavy. All right, so the next product that I got is this Hydropeptide Moisture Reset facial oil first of all i have to say that i really love the component i love that it's pink i never tried this brand before and let me read what the value of this is oh my goodness so this little bottle actually retails for 120 dollars i remember that this was expensive and normally facial oils are on the pricier side but i didn't think it was this expensive so i'm really really excited to try this out you guys know that even though I have combination skin type, I love any type of facial oils because I do have uh, certain areas on my face that tend to get dry. And basically this oil, it's supposed to have pure plant oils, rice bran extract, and it's supposed to just have, I guess, make your skin uh, look amazing. I don't know, let me read what else it says. So it has flower extracts, avocado, and pumping oils. That's really good. I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, so this is another claim. It says that it's supposed to help protect your skin from environmental stressors and free radicals. Okay, that is amazing because I don't know if you guys know this, but when you go out and about, there's a lot of things in the environment, in the air that can actually damage your skin. So apparently this facial oil is supposed to create like a barrier to protect your skin from those environmental stressors. So I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, it's super expensive. So here's the consistency. It has a little bit of a yellow tint, but it actually feels super moisturizing, which I really like so far. I definitely have to try it out on my face. 
but so far I really like how it smells it really smells wonderful you guys I'm just intrigued about the price tag it's really expensive and I don't think I have bought anything this expensive before but I'm really excited that I got it and if you guys think about it I mean the box alone is only $50 so this is like double the price of the bags and you get other products so I'm really excited to try this out okay so up next I got this uh, Dr. Brand triple peptide eye cream and first of all I have to say when I saw that this was an option I got really excited because I love skincare I mean if I didn't say it a million times already but I was actually running low on my under eye cream so the fact that this was an option I didn't doubt it and I selected it. I actually haven't tried much from this brand, but I know and I've heard great things about this brand. Some of the claims is that this eye cream, it's supposed to help with wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness, eye cream. Yes, give me all of that. My under eye definitely needs all of the help. And this actually retails for $82. That is insane, you guys. But I know that under eye creams um, can be expensive as well. So I'm really excited that I got this and it's just I guess anti-aging which is something that we all need. Definitely make sure that you start using anti-aging products as early as in your early 20s. You definitely have to care for your skin so that way you age beautifully. But yeah I'm really excited to try this out. And the next product that I got is by Grace and Stila. They're Say Hi to Hydration. Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum and this is another product that I'm really excited to try out because like I said my skin can be dry at points and Hyaluronic Acid is amazing for dry skin. It literally is going to help to retain any moisture into the skin so I'm really excited that I got this in the box. Ooh, look at this container. It has like a little pump and it does feel quite luxurious. I actually haven't tried this brand before. I do remember getting uh, a facial spray in another box somewhere, I don't know, but I still haven't gotten around to use it because I'm trying to really use up all of my products and um, yeah, that's the reason why I haven't tried it, but let me see what the price of this is. So this retails for $25. And let me just read you what it says. It says that it's supposed to improve your skin's uh, moisture balance and texture with hyaluronic acid. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Hyaluronic acid is just amazing for the skin and you can definitely use it in combination with all of your skincare products. So I'm just really happy that I got this because I already use hyaluronic acid so I don't have to buy another one. So the next product that I got is by Kate Somerville and this is their goat uh, milk moisturizing cream. I have seen this product before but I just personally haven't tried it. Let me just open it to see the consistency. I really like that it has like a little uh, pro uh, pro Oh my goodness, did you see what happened? I don't know if I opened it too fast, but I definitely wasted some of the product. Let me actually clean this up. I'm just sad that I wasted some of the product, but it's okay. I guess what I can tell you is to be very careful when you open this up because the consistency of this moisturizer is very creamy and very liquidy from what I can tell. So definitely be careful. Um, I don't know if I like the scent. Mm, I don't know, I have to give this a try, uh, but I have definitely seen this product before and I've never tried that brand before. Let me just tell you what the value of that is. So that goat milk moisturizing cream is supposed to retail for $65 and it's made with lactose from goat's milk jojoba and avocado and it's supposed to be a gentle formula that instantly absorbs into the skin for healthy glow. I can definitely feel that the consistency is very thin like I said and it does resemble a milky consistency. I just don't know if I like the fact that it's made from lactose, uh, from goat's milk, but I definitely have to give it a try. If you guys have tried it before, let me know in the comments down below. And up next, I got this foot cream by the brand 
taroko. I think that's how you say it, but it's supposed to have uh, blood oranges in the formula. I've never tried a foot cream that had that ingredient before. And this one retails for $24 and it's supposed to have olive oil and it helps to heal and hydrate your feet, which is amazing. And my feet will definitely be enjoying this later. Next up, I have this hand cream. I really don't know how to pronounce the brand, but I guess it's spongily. And this is their coconut verbena um, infused with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and argan oil. Guys, I love anything that smells like coconut, so they had me at that. I would definitely be enjoying the scent on this. Let me actually open it. Okay, it does smell like coconuts, which is something that I'm really happy about. Let me see what these retails for. So this one retails for $18. And it's supposed to just nourish and hydrate your hands with the blend of hyaluronic acid, shea butter, and macadamia seed oils. Oh, okay. I didn't know it had hyaluronic acid. I've never tried that in my hands. But like we said previously, hyaluronic acid is amazing for hydration purposes. So... I would definitely be trying this out. All right, and it looks like the last product that I got in my box is this Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow Pencil. It comes in this super beautiful packaging, just gold. And let's see what the pencil looks like. That's what the point of the pencil looks like. I hope the camera is picking it up. Let me swatch it for you guys. Ooh, okay, this is very dark. I would say it's like a dark, dark brown, almost a black pencil. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use this because as you can tell, my brows, I do them a little bit lighter. I really wish they would have let us pick the shade or something like that. It does have a spoolie, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use this, but it does retail for $16. I don't know if they have different shades. Like I said, I really wish they would have uh, let us pick different shades because I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this. But if you have darker brows, then you're definitely gonna enjoy it. And after adding all of the products up and seeing how much my actual value from my box is, this is my total, you guys. So my value is $404 when I only pay $49.99. That is so shocking to me i think this has been the box that has had the highest value from all of the boxes that i have gotten from fat fit fun box i think it has to do with uh the fact that i have a lot of skincare products in here and i'm not gonna lie i'm so happy about that when i was customizing my box i realized that i was getting a lot of skincare products but that's just me I love skincare products and I was running low in a lot of these products so I'm really happy that I got these products to try out but just know that they have other options it's not just skincare I personally ended up choosing a skincare products because I love skincare and I really wanted to try out these products but there's other options so if you go on their website you can definitely see everything uh you can check out my description box for more details but that is everything that i got in my box i hope that you enjoyed the video and let me know have you gotten yours yet thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already and i will see you guys in the next one bye